Hello and welcome back, I'm Bebo Joe. And there's something very satisfying watching this area. There's a bunch of smoke, there's a train, there's some cars, there's some trucks, there's a little traffic jam, there's a little park. There are constructions that haven't started yet. There's a lot of stuff going on here. And I can really appreciate this. We're going to expand this today. Obviously, we need to get some gravel and just more construction done over by the nuclear plant. We need a city plant over there somehow. And, well, planning never stops. Well, well. So, what things are we going to start with? I think the very first thing is buying a new machine. 170000 We can barely afford it, but we can. So we are. <laughs> that's, that's the first one, because we would like to get things done. This one is working on a lot of things, so having um, an extra rail crane out there shouldn't be hurtful the developers have not made an update so the thing that was broken is not fixed <laughs> sad sad but true it's what it is so we'll just have to babysit a lot of this stuff um here and there and i will survive we, we will all survive that will be totally fine but we have to continue with things and the only reason i can do what i'm doing right now is I am um, not putting any signals down. Without signals, the rail construction office can run freely, and if something goes wrong, it will just teleport home, and that is totally, totally okay. A lot of crops. Okay, can you send the, the new guys out? Mm, there are two pieces. Two pieces down there that are not done yet. Arr. Okay, let's get those fixed, and then we can get more of our uh, crops to where they belong, and then we should be fine. Let's just... High priority lease, what is that? Oh, those are dumpers. Those are dumpers that are invited to um, go to wherever they're supposed to go. And <laughs> I forgot about that. I, I wanted to follow these guys. There's the guy. Yeah, you look great. That's a that's a crew of professionals right there. I love it. So these guys are to import our gravel to the gravel area that we just talked about. Some vehicles without fuel. Who cares about that? Load gravel from here. Um, yes, it will hurt our construction just or our customs house traffic just a little bit, but we have to get this done. Unload until... Honestly, 80% is probably what I want. <laughs> yeah, they will be fine. Where are we getting our gravel from? Gravel obviously comes from right here. Do we have power for you? No, no, we don't have power. So this is not going to matter until we have some power access in this area. Now, have I placed anything power related? Nope. Nope, I have not. So let's see if we can place something in a way that covers every building that we care about, which will be um, probably close to here. That is the customs house. That's the warehouse. It is not... What is this? No, this is... What is this? This is a meat storage. That one does need power. 100%. We cannot get around that. So what I'm seeing is we probably need two... Um, substations, just place them somewhere near the water and we should be okay. Put one here, put one here, maybe. Yeah, that will work. They don't need fancy connections and they don't need um, a full power line. We can just probably get a medium voltage switch in here. Let's get one like this. Really? Yeah, because I'm probably forgetting an area that I actually want to access later on. So having this one here should be helpful. Uh, for everything that we're going to do from here on out. Shall we move move this into the water a little bit and not use any space up on this side? Yeah, yeah, we can. Because we do have bulldozers for, for precisely uh, things like this. We have a lot of bulldozers, actually. That's nice. Okay. Uh, power. This one. Plop you right here. Uh, use the node that we already have. And just a dirt road because these things just have to get done. More dirt roading and more dirt roading. Good. Construction offices, please get these going um, ASAP. Let's see, click on any of these. They should have just been added at the very end. Oh, the reconstruction gets a little machine replacement icon next to it. That's cool. But yeah, they can get started on this. And let's get our electricity out. I'm assuming the 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 medium medium sized line should be sufficient for what we're doing here. Can I get an extra one? Nope, nope, I can't. So that should be fine. That should be fine. Um, get next to the... No, no. This, 
it's getting too tight it's getting too tight this is not important but we need some gravel out here anyways and we need power before we can do anything else so we have a few minutes let's add a little bit of extra space this should be fine and then we can run uh, the power line where it actually belongs that makes me feel good nope not there yes here get you there and then get you right in there and everything should be wonderful open this assign it and go one last thing obviously is the medium voltage connection this one can run close to our uh, close to our road i'm hoping we're actually gonna follow the curve here as much as we can sure why not makes it a little prettier and now it's a relatively straight operation um over here last piece make it nice and long and you're not connected to anything okay okay <laughs> Do I want a substation here or do I want a substation out here that is really close to everything that goes on on that side? I think the answer is the substation comes out here. So that last piece we're not going to build. Instead, this can be... Yeah, let's leave the switch. I don't know that it's necessary, but we have it, so may as well use it. Let's get a uh, transformer down here. You can... No, we, we really don't need the, the, the switch over here anymore because we're never going to use that much um that many connections so that can come back just a little bit um let's get the road connection in here on both sides just to speed up things uh, when we can assign this to our construction office cool and get a better switch um out here just another high voltage switch so we can all get all the connections uh, where we need it i'm not using the priority switches yet because honestly i'm not sure how i want to use them um, at this point, so we're just gonna leave them wide open like so Definitely don't need that we can probably go get away with a small power connection here I do want a large power connection going to the north side and Then probably want a large one going to the south side here and if I can keep you on A relatively straight line. No, that's not gonna work. That's not that's not good enough. Do it again. I would like you to follow a reasonable line. Oh, I, it looks like I took the ever high voltage power line out as well, but we can replace that. This is okay. I'm placing this like this um, really close and really kind of tight because I would like to keep as much of the real estate in the... In, let's see here. There's one and then... Yeah. We don't need that one <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that one um as much of the real estate uh wide open so we can do uh, more things with that later on when we want to so get this one get this one high voltage line let's get rid of our footpath right here that looks good we could have spaced it out a little better just leave it alone it's fine and assign that get me a small construct or a smaller wire 8 megawatts is probably enough. There's there's not a lot going on here. Get that one connected here. Get our construction crews on all of this, and then we should be in relatively good shape. Let's give these high priorities. Uh, 6 times 2, power transformer, substation. Okay, this is all just the power. So this is actually good because not a lot of stuff is assigned to it anymore. I like that. So they can do their thing over there. We could turn these on. I should do something with them. <laughs> I just don't know what yet. I just want to see this. This one is done. So that's good, which means this guy can get back on its normal path. Because we do need we do need the crops. We're pretty much out here. How are we getting crops in right now? Who's delivering crops to you? That is an excellent question because you know, we have clothes sitting there. We don't have any fabric, so they went through that. But we are running out of crops really fast, and you are... You are bringing... No, you're picking up crops. Sorry, buddy. There are no crops for you to pick up anymore, so uh, figure it out. Luckily, the distribution office can figure out things um, without being too clever. All right, missing crops. They are getting delivered with our little guy. Where are you? Uh, slowly but surely, so that is fine. And how's this going? The list is shorter, so let's get more assigned. It would be so nice if I could batch assign these but i cannot left sh left shift and drag uh because of reasons so um some other time maybe it's like you are already assigned that's nice you are not assigned you're not assigned and you gosh there's so many little pieces that i have to do here and i'm we talked about that leave it alone that's fine 
Okay, gravel is coming in. We are getting power. That should all be fine. And we have some uh, gravel assigned already. That's very good. We just need to do more things. And uh, because our construction office was not working on a lot of other things, we could get these buildings all assigned um, to the other construction offices because these... Oops, there's there's one thing that's not assigned yet. Oh, because we, we, we interrupted that construction. Got it. Uh, we had this as a medium one. Can you come across the street here in a reasonable manner and connect to that? Yes, you can. Can you run very parallel to everything and then connect in there? Yes, you can. Cool. Let's get those assigned as well so the construction offices know what's going on. I could have probably improved behavior a little bit there, but it's fine. Wire, wire, wire. All the plants are just lower, lower, lower problems, so we don't have to worry about them right away. Very good. So this is happening. They're doing their thing. Uh, we have the power plan designed. I still don't know what I want to do with all the uh, power lines, but that is a problem for later. Not sure why I didn't feel like this should be connected already. So let's just do that. I'm probably just not sure about what we're going to do with that. And I have to do some graveling with the road uh, down the road as well. So that's fine. I think we could pick up gravel from here, but honestly, I'm fine with them just filling them up for now until we have a train that can do that a little quicker. Good. Good. What was that? Nope, nothing. Um, that's all good. Another thing that I'm considering is we are doing research here, but we really don't need um, the, the, the number of students that we have here currently. So what I'm going to do is decrease the number of professors just in general so that we just have enough to um, work down there because this research at this point doesn't matter and I'd much rather have some workers. This university for some reason always have students waiting here even when I don't have room and when I don't allow them. So it's a little annoying. Let's turn up our loyalty a little bit for them. Turn up the loyalty for our professors, and then hopefully we keep this number a little lower. Um, I did hear that you do need um, new research for new connections every time you want to build um, another foreign connection for pipelines or for power. That's fine. Like you, you just research that connection and then you get the next one. I'm assuming that has something to do with the investment, uh, the supply and demand, and something else. I, I, I think it's fine. It's, it's a little weird, but it's fine. So we're just going to leave that alone. What is your problem? You cannot get to what? You cannot get to these guys. Arr! Construction office, can you just please, please get your things done so we can actually get some gravel going because we do need that money uh, to come in ASAP. I don't know which one you want to get into. Probably doesn't matter. High priority. High priority. I would like this done. This is probably going to be a little finicky for... Oh, gosh, there's still pieces there that I'm not done yet. Ah... It's not this is not very helpful you and you we did an episode where we did all of this already so um, I hope this is the last time I have to do any of this nonsense cool they can figure it out very nice so while they're running what is the next thing that I need to do the next thing that I need to do is probably build the city yeah that should be fine collision that, that should be okay yeah you were just right behind them um, the city is probably the next thing that we need to figure out, and I think that's what we're going to do today. Yeah, city planning 101, um, commencing any minute now. Is there a crane here? There's no crane. Why are you sending people out here when there's no crane available? That is very, very silly. I do not approve. What are you going to do? Okay, city planning 101. What do we need? Well, first, we probably need to understand how big we want the city to be. And I made a mistake. Normally, you can write some numbers here of how many workers you want, but I didn't do that. So I got to figure out how many workers we have left over in this area alone. So advanced industries, yes. We have one uranium mine, 100 people. Keep that in mind. We have one uranium processing plant, 75 people, so 175, good. We have two uranium conversion plants, 120 people. So 240 plus 175 is, call this, well, no, don't call it. Just do it, do the right thing. So 75 plus 40 is 115. Yep, pretty sure about that. Plus 100 is 215 plus 200 is 415. 415 workers, great. 
and then a nuclear fuel fabrication is another 120 uh, specifically high educated so 220 215 um, plus another 120 is rounded 600 for this then I still need the power plant which has what um, you have another 120 so 700 workers in this general area I do think that's very doable with um, with trams especially since the frequency should be able to keep up with that but that's what we have so rename this to 700 workers because we also have a fire station there so that's how many we need here great that fire station is set right there so 700 there i would like to do gravel things what is oh that's the city area okay <laughs> i was confused with the blue button um we want gravel right yeah if this gravel is still gonna happen i am not sure because the city is leaning a little different than what i wanted it to be at first now we could fix that by let's actually fix that i think that's a good idea by taking this road um it can well the road can exist exactly where it is because this is going to be our um tram line it's just going to be connected there and the gravel can totally be here but the city itself we may want to confine to let's see get that road in here um sure let's flatten it out because why not right right mouse click for the win um if the city fits in there and then has a little bit of room here goes in there and kind of just like fits in these uh in these confinements i don't think that'll be very bad because how big is that circle you are not super far away from the gravel industry, but if I put all the quarries here and then put the gravel business on this side, I think we will be fine. What is the actual distance there? Um, from this road to here, 800 meters. Yeah, that's totally enough. What is the distance from uh, the center of town to the outside? Uh, from there to about there, this will be 400 meters. So that's really all we can do on this side. Now, 480 is the new max with the new footpaths so we can adjust this a little bit but the footpaths have to be upgraded right away so that looks fine i'm um, going from the center here to the other side 400 meters is right here so i'm just i'm just adding some baselines some rules for where the city has to be confined to and i think these are okay on distances so again this is kind of the center up to here is 400 meters that's good uh, and then again, center to, this is not exactly the center, but center to there is a little shorter than what we could. So this road, we could expand just a little bit if we absolutely have to. But we're just going to assume this is the city center. Cool. We need tram support. So let's start with just that. Under here, road vehicles, uh, bus platform. None of these are supporting trams. So you have to make sure that you get tram support. The only ones to get are these two. Okay, 250 for a tram is not going to be good enough. No, no, we're, we're not going to have enough transportation um, possibilities if we use a tram with this thing. So that's not going to work. All right. All right. Could we use multiple, multiple tram stops? Technically, yes. But then we still only add, we are still only at 250 workers, which is just not... That is not good enough. So the tram infrastructure will not support what I want to do here because we need to move 700 people um, to that side. And I'm assuming another four or 500, maybe 600 because cement takes a lot to here. And then another, um, well, food. I would like to do food here. Um, I don't know if we're going to do alcohol there as well, but we do another 600 here. And if we do, um, what is it? another 500 here or so we are at now at least 1500 maybe close to 2000 workers um just for this that's not including any of the utility workers that the city needs and well you have to uh, times out times three I'll multiply that by, uh, by three to get the right number of workers that you need for the city because we have three shifts do like three and a half to get enough of the utility workers in there as well so Let's say we need 2,000 for the areas where we want to work in. Uh, 6,000 of workers do another 
5,000, so 7,500, which is actually lucky because that means we can just use a single shopping center to do all our things. Um, but it creates a little bit of a logistical challenge because we do want, if I want to do this with trams, I do want something a little funky. The sad thing is if I wanted to do it with a bus, this one would be totally fine. Buses will totally run from this and has a really good range, has a really good size. It does everything that I need it to do, but we cannot use trams, which is kind of sad. So, Peter, get on that. I would like better tram infrastructure because this is a little silly. That's fine. Trolley bus stop. Trolley buses. Mm. No, no, th these don't support trolleys. <laughs> so, uh, same problem. Do I just want to do buses? Do you want to do buses instead of trams? No, trams are cool, but you're not... You're not separating tram traffic, really. So buses and trams will really do the same thing. So we could just do this all with a bus and will totally work. Yes. It may be the better option. Yes. <clears throat> I want to look at one more thing. We could use a normal train platform like this and just use this for trams. So this one does 1500. The smaller one does 600. Yeah, we do need the 1500 one. I want to see how this looks. I don't know that I'm going to do this, but I want to see how this looks. So if we say um, this is effectively our center, should I just put it in the center and not use a road connection there? I kind of don't hate that. We'll just see how this looks. Uh, give me a train platform. Why am I doing a train platform? Because you can't... Oh, there's a big problem here. If I want to use a train platform, I need to build at least part of the infrastructure of the electrical rail with a rail construction crane. The rail construction crane, as far as I understand, cannot go on the tram infrastructure. So this would not do what I needed to do. Okay, okay. I think I have an idea of how we can make this work with tram stops, which can only hold 250 people. We need 7,500 in this whole area, which is a little awkward, but we will just see how this works because I like the idea of doing this. It's not necessarily a good idea, but I like the idea of doing it. Um, and we can actually expand our city with that a little bit. If we make this the core of the city, um, where everything goes, this road probably doesn't exist. Okay, that's fine. Um, we just added it again, but we're gonna take it out and just bear with me because I like where I'm going. <laughs> I really do. Uh, give me some tram stops just to get started, and we will use some backup. Uh, this is the small one, this is the larger one. We will use some backup uh, bus stops in the center probably, but put one there, put one um, a little further along, and I'm placing more than I need just so it gives us the capacity of everything that we wanna do. And this is just going to surround the city center a little bit, like so. And again, all of these have a 400 meter walking radius, but if we put all our city needs in the center, this should not cause any big issues. The other nice thing with what I just did is I can use just tram infrastructure for, for these guys. If I wanted to, I could even run trams on the middle. Don't know that I want that yet, but we'll just see how that goes. But let's connect these just to get started. Yeah, mud roads to get started, otherwise, uh, building any of this will be a nightmare. You don't want to go in there, but you want to go in here. F4 to turn off the snapping, get a relatively straight line into there and a relatively straight line there. Yeah, this, so far, this is easy, this is fine. We're not doing anything complicated. So those will all turn into um, tram stops. And this is downtown. What goes into downtown? Several things, obviously. <laughs> um, this inner... This intersection will cause a lot of trouble on both sides because if I if I'm planning on bringing any infrastructure, sorry, if I'm planning on bringing any supply structures like uh, truck and logistics lines and distribution offices into the city, which we will have at least a shopping center right in the middle, smack smack dab in the center of this, uh, at least one, we have to deliver stuff somehow. So uh, logistics have to be taken care of and have to kind of fit into what we want to do here. Shopping center just straight in the middle. We will figure out a little bit later. I want to see what my construction offices are doing. We have some of the power set up. That's good. But there's still a lot of construction going on because we're so far away. And that is fine. We also need more construction offices to do things. But I would like to get gravel done first. 
and probably all, all of these items first so we can start importing some uh, materials when we're there. This, we can probably start importing bitumen. We have some dollars sitting there, so may as well use um, a good tanker. Let's find one. Can we get one used? Uh, the long haul, I do like the long haul, so we're just gonna buy one. There's a fire truck that's not super helpful right now, and I don't see a tanker, but we, well, there's a tanker, cistern 11. Don't know that I want that. Let's, let's go to our warehouse. Sorry, not warehouse, our road depot. Do we have some room here? Yes, we do. I would like, why is the cement truck sitting here? Oh, because I got a bigger one. <laughs> I was nervous about that one. That's that's not right. Uh, what can we buy? On the NATO side, if we look at a cistern oil tank, I guess, we can get 17, 16, 11, and five. So 17 is the big one. Good to know if we go on the other side, also look at an oil tank, we can get 16 and 13 and eight. So 17 is the winner. We do have the money for it, so may as well use it. Oil tank, yes, give me this guy. It's pretty enough too, so we can actually buy that. And one will be enough for right now because I don't think we will need that much asphalt. There is a danger of using a direct line here because I will eventually probably fill up this uh, storage, but needs must, I guess. I can also just build another distribution office at some point for uh, cement and uh, bitumen. We already have gravel taken care of. Honestly, once, gra well, once gravel is taken care of a little bit, we can expand the use of this distribution office. But as you can see, there are currently no trucks parked here. I think we have some room here, especially for uh, a bitumen tank. So once the, the tanker is here, uh, and we can get a cement truck in here too. They can be assigned to deliver uh, cement and bitumen. Although for cement, I think we wanna keep this fuller because that one is actually gonna be used uh, quite a bit. So that should be fine. Storages, I only built two here. Is that a good idea? Hmm. I think it will be fine once we have a train being able to resupply all of this, but it could be a problem uh, beforehand. So we just have to keep an eye on those. How are we doing here? Pipeline connection is being researched. You are doing this stuff. Uneducated, higher educated people only have a thousand. That is, that's a little lower than what I want. So we're actually gonna add a few more T, well, no, don't do it here because we don't have extra people working here, uh, waiting here. Add a few more staff and teachers to this one and that should help. How's our loyalty? On average, we have 64%, so setting this to 50% requirement should not cause any real issues. Uh, for now, you have no assigned constructions. Are you kidding me? Get moving. Um, there's there's a lot for you to do. Just just do it all. That one's not done yet. You gotta be kidding me. Yes, all of this has to be done. We do have to get some power connections at some point to just get rid of all the uh, icons, but I don't think it's super necessary because these icons and the icons with uh, this is not constructed yet look too similar, so I can tell if we're missing something else. Something that we could do right now is I could put a power connection at the end of this, and then all those lines, all those all those icons will go away. Honestly, that will probably be helpful for right now. So that's what we're gonna do. Get me uh, trains, a electric connection. We have above ground and below ground for um, for metros later, if we're, if we're gonna build one. I don't know if we're gonna build one this season. Um, I like them. They, they work fine, but they're really good for public transport and not that good for everything else. Get that one there. Electrified rail goes here and here. And once this is connected, uh, we will get rid of all those ugly little icons. Let's get one medium voltage line connected to uh, this cause. Oh gosh, I'm going to do this again. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. It's fine. Um, these are short enough driving distances where it shouldn't matter that much. Do, 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 Just try to keep it nice and together. Good enough. Good enough. And then you can just branch out there. Cool. Get that one assigned to construction and they can figure out what they want to do here. Get those pieces assigned to these guys. I hope they would have picked... No, they don't, they don't even pick those up automatically. That is wrong. Just, just very wrong. It's like they don't pick up electric rail. I don't understand why, it's just annoying, but whatever, figure it out. Okay, so we are here in the center. 
Okay, what should we do? Well, this is going to be the main road coming in. Um, if we want a supply road coming in, we have to address that somehow. You can either build a tunnel or you can build a bridge. How do you want to do this? Do we need the outside road connection? So what I really want is this piece to not be an inter uh, interchange for two, uh, sorry, for two lanes that are only tram, for two lanes that are only road, and for one lane that is road and tram. I don't think that will be a good use of connectivity, especially with the traffic that I'm expecting to have in this area. So we can either leave all of this together as it is and run a bridge across this or somewhere in here that we can get our distribution offices in. I cannot just build a thing that um, effectively makes the tunnel somewhere because we're really not very high up. Okay, okay. Um, can I get... <laughs> I don't want to do this. I really need to pick, right? I just need to pick which one do I want. And then I can move, um, move with that and everyone can be happy. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want at all because we can also... Well, I can build a tunnel here. We can elevate a lot of this area and probably get a tunnel underneath it. I think that is the better option if this... If this junction is a tunnel, I can, sorry, is, is, a, is elevated, I can run a tunnel underneath it and have a road connection that does all of the uh, connections. Now that may mean we have to turn or put these um, connections a little further back, but I don't think that's the end of the world. Okay, let's see how this goes because I think we have enough uh, people, sorry, enough bulldozers to make this actually happen. Now, I don't know that this is a high enough difference to put a tunnel underneath it so that is something we still have to figure out but this is a start and it may or may not work cool so if we assume that this is all here you just stay flat and i just need a piece of contact for these guys to actually connect to so you get a line there you get a line here and take that away you get an angle here and an angle here i'm doing this because i don't want to undo the the amount of dirt that we just put up um so i can hopefully get a tunnel out of this this angle on that side okay everything goes nice and up that's good that's expected that is fabulous this one just has to connect to here give me a little more and then you can do um this behavior and again i am not convinced that we have enough of a height difference that this will actually work but we'll see how it goes this side is the one that we don't actually care about, so. <laughs> Oops. Okay, there is our tunnel. We may we may be able to go a little lower. Where are we? Here we are at um, four meters. We are at 10 meters here and we are at three meters here. So I can probably try to actually lower this edge just a little bit. So we have a little more room before we hit water to go underneath this whole area. I think that would be cool. Could also be just completely stupid, that's fine. You, you can judge me. And then go from here to here. It's so tempting to do this. The thing that I'm worried about is there may be some behavior over here that looks a little funny, but it at least works. That it works is more than enough indication for me that we can probably do this. Give me two pieces of road that are just connected and then add the bridge, the supply tunnel right here. Okay, it doesn't like that. <laughs> there, there is a very clear uh, place where it's okay with connecting, and it's not exactly where uh, I just built that. Let's get you a little more shift. No, yes, uh, left shift. That's what I needed. Get a little closer to the mountain and see if that works. This looks a lot better because there shouldn't be any danger of any funky connections. The tunnel is about the height there and definitely below um, the road connections there. I like that. And now we have a way to get all our um, distributable materials into the city center, into the city core, which is exactly what I want. And we can run all the other traffic above it, which should not be any trucks. There shouldn't be any trucks driving on top of here. It should just be trams, um, which 
the road for the trams is not awful it's not great it's just how this game works so that is good and then this road can honestly since it's a supply road connect to the thing that will be um, our supply source which is just out here so our city roads are relatively isolated i'm going to take this one back just a little bit uh, because we have a um, another road connection that is right here already i don't know if i want to use that but i'm going to use it for right now make a nice connection there you have to be connected at some point but i don't know what i want to do with you just yet so we'll just see cool we have some cement store cement good uh bitumen is not set up yet that is fine let's see you guys are disagreeing with how you need to drive why are you trying to go this way i'm pretty sure this waypoint is not where you are where are you trying to go you're trying to get fuel <clears throat> you're not very helpful don't get fuel go, go get fuel over here and then everyone will be happy but no you have to be special um can you please go to oh i have the diesel station on the route that's silly go there just figure it out no turn around go to that fuel station Mm. <sighs> that's not helping go here then you can figure it out because this guy's probably also running out of fuel yep you also at zero that's fine let's make them both move yep you got your fuel get out of here you got your fuel get out of here um this train does not have a good way to refuel just because of i, mean, I was expecting trains to be part of the distribution office they're just not the part of the distribution office yet you get fuel there and then you don't have to worry about it but it is not reaching this fuel station and it can't normally reach this fuel station either so it's a little confused i should add just a crossover somewhere in here but that's too much work sign new construction again yes i will yes we're gonna do that um over here there's rail there there's rail there there's rail here um there's probably something over here that we can connect to there's something there look at how much construction you can work on something here just keep keep stay on top of that okay um cool there's a thing that i started doing which i really like get a um food a meat storage in the city so you don't have to worry about um delivering food uh, delivering to two separate places we still have to deliver to two, two separate places because we're going to import some via train but having a meat storage here expands the storage of the um, of the shopping center more than enough that we should be okay so meat and um that one is here we should probably build some type of circular like almost a roundabout around this thing should i do that it's a really big roundabout yeah we'll see how that works do we have a grid line here that we can use i think those two are okay and then those two are <sighs> trying to find one that actually aligns with this so it's this group if I get this as a connection, let's see how this works. That's, well, that's at least 90 degrees and that's fine. That is also fine. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't know about you, but I don't hate it. Yes, I've already made it gravel. Um, that should be, it's unnecessary, but I already did it now. So let's just see what happens and turn the grid off again. This is not terrible. We just have something in the middle that does all the things and we can connect everything else to it because as long as all of these um tram stops are actually connected to this thing it may work i probably still need a bus stop connection here and here as an overflow should i just do that right now yes yes i should if i do that the bus stops have to be connected via road to um not the tram stops that's important also we don't want them to huh there, there are some interesting conundrums going on over here. I think this is where I want you, and then here is where I want you. These are just for overflow, and they will be um, probably fed, at least the workers will be fed into this one, but everything else can still reach the city center from there. So it's playing with the game mechanics a little bit. We just need bigger tram stops, and then I wouldn't have to do this. Anyways. 7,500 people should not cause a lot of issues. So let's see what we can do next. Um, residential. Yes, we have a shopping center. Done. 7,500 people. Pub. Eventually, at some point. Not right away. Cinema. It's one of the culture buildings that just makes sense. So we're always going to build this. 
um, this should be fine right here. Sure, we can pull, place another one on this side if we really wanted to, or we can place some other culture buildings. I have a Palace of Communism, uh, 20 and 8, that feels really expensive. I have the Concert Hall, 10 and 200, that sounds great. I want to build this one. I'm going to place it so that the road connection is actually connected to um, the road that we have real access to, not the road that we will have um, just tram access to. So that should be fine. Uh, to remember that these guys have to go out like this because if we do need to add buses to the whole situation we have to do it there and i hope they don't have to drive all the way over here to get to what they need but that's fine um cool so those two are done we have a culture building we don't have a television station it would be cool to place one here maybe but i don't know um, what do we want to do here? There's a big sports hall, there's our indoor pool of 1890, 25, 175, 7, 140. This one is the biggest one. It does definitely need a road connection, so let's keep this one relatively close to the road. So we can actually connect that, and now those are fine. The last thing that I think I need, 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 is probably, well, there are two things. I would like a school, I'm just going to place the big one um, right over here. Uh, I, I like it so far, I like everything that's going on here. That can go right there, and that's fine. And that's our school. Do we want an orphanage? I will probably put an orphanage in this city. Hospital is more interesting, because if I place it here, there's no good drivable um, anything to get the hospital out of here. If I put it here, then the drivable distance from here to this side is outrageous so this is probably one that i want close to our connections and here's what i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna place the hospital close to the center still but i'm gonna place one on each side with road connections pointing at where the bus connection is so we can actually get those things connected in a way that um, is conducive to business i think i like that this may be terrible Fire station, we're just going to build, I think, one big one because we do want this to be a relatively large city. There are two... Should I just build two smaller ones? <laughs> because we need one really pointing at both sides of the city, otherwise we're not going to gain anything. So if I place the normal one, this one has four spots, this one has eight spots. Yeah, if I place two of these near the edge of both sides of town, we should be able to cover... Pretty much everything that we care about like so and like so you should have enough workers coming in from both of those sides so this may be okay how are we doing here i'm looking for 21 year olds living without their own apartment that's that's the thing that i worry about did i did i not no i, I don't think i did the thing that i wanted to do and you are stuck again <sighs> here's what we're gonna do just stop stop going here um, train diesel station, yes. Delete that, stop. Go home, and then leave me alone. Well, don't leave me alone. Do, do your thing. Do we have gravel here? <laughs> Not gravel, crops. We do have crops sitting there, so that's good. I would like, um, this is what I tried to do earlier. I would like a big cement truck, please. That one. And I would like a big fuel tank. So, that one. Cool. Get both of them here. I do realize that I already ordered one over on this side, but... I need this done a little quicker. And once they arrive, I can uh, start filling up our construction needs over uh, over out there. Construction, what are you doing? You have a lot of stuff going on. Okay, that's fine. I can I can respect that. This one can be assigned to you. And what else do we have? Yeah, just just a little more power, please. But at least most things are done yet. Most things are getting done at least, so that's helpful. And unemployment, wow, look at that, due to a small child. So we have some uh, kindergarten spacing issues, which is not the end of the world, um, but not ideal. We are pretty much maxing this out, so yeah. I, we could add one more, um, one more kindergarten in this area, but honestly, I don't know that we have to. This could be a spot where we can actually get a kindergarten in, because this is never going to get built. Should we do that? Part of me thinks maybe because if we have this problem at 4,500, we will have this problem later on too. So yeah, demolish this and demolish this. Make sure that we assign something to you so they can figure out what they need to do. Very good. Then we'll just put a some size of kindergarten in there and that should be good enough. 
How you doing? You're fine. How you doing? You're fine. How you doing? Um, just two pieces assigned. I don't like it. That one, that one. Can you go do more? Like there. Not there yet, obviously. There's tiny. No, there's just two pieces there. Nothing going on here. Those two need to be assigned. That one needs to be assigned. Gosh. Not a fan. This is silly. This is completely unnecessary and it was so much better than... Oh, the, the previous version was so much better. So please go back to that. Um, but that's a sign and they can do their thing. You just go and don't make me sad. Ah, <sighs> yeah, planning and getting this done. This city is taking on some shape. It's not just a shape. Um, we'll just see how it goes. It's more like a smiley face now. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, next things that we need. So hospital, hospital, fire station. I don't think there's anything more on this side that we need. I do need a police and I do need that set up. This just has to be close to, um, well, it has to be able to reach every part of the city, which this one should be fine if I get you over here. Sure. And then I think court wise, we should be fine with the one court that we have. It shouldn't overflow. So yeah, maybe the city is fine. Uh, secret police obviously is another thing that we should plop in here and they uh, by default just have to be in the same area of town. And then we're fine. Cool. So that is that done pretty much. A war stock. Well, if we're going to call it that, I have a better name for you. You are Rostock. <clears throat> Near my hometown. So now I can find it. All right. Do we have power now? Yes, we do have power. Do you have power? You have power. You have power. Cool. Um, you will be part of my new construction um, setup um, at this. And then we can start making some gravel roads everywhere because gravel is part of every road construction, almost every road construction. I don't know if it's the, the panel roads have it too, but most places have road constructions. Yep, you're assigned to road and uh, footpaths, which is great. Let's get wiggling. Um, get all of these upgraded, get that one upgraded, and uh, then we have a bridge that we have to contend with, but that is fine. We only have two uh, dozers. That should be okay. Is your auto search on? It should be on. Um, why are you not picking up construction? <clears throat> What's your problem? Right over here. Go there. Really? Range? You, you go until all the way up there. Why are you not... What are you doing? It's a road. I know it's a road. Let's speed this up a little bit. Nope. Nope. It just doesn't want to get assigned to... Oh. <laughs> okay. It's my fault. Active construction is off. So these guys now get assigned and now you should be happy. All of this is good. All of this is good. Um, these can also be just turned. Oh boy. Oh, oh no. Oh no, don't tell me. That is the sound of me realizing that I've done something very stupid. Um, sorry about that, everyone. This was completely unnecessary. You may have yelled that in the previous um, video, and I appreciate that. You should have yelled it a little sooner, <laughs> but here we are. Yep, this is probably why the, why the rare construction office was not doing the thing that I wanted it to do. This is probably the only reason. I apologize. Makes me feel sad. Makes me feel hurt. But this is what this game does. At some point, it's just telling you, oh, you think you know what you're doing? <laughs> Let me, let me show you. Let me show you what you don't know. And here we are. So now I'm expecting these guys to actually pick up everything that is behind the construction that they're attacking and getting everything done. I feel so bad. I feel so stupid. <laughs> well, that's that. Cool. Um, I'm glad that is all done and figured out. Next things that we need are utilities. Okay. Should we do utilities first? Yes. All right. Um, where's the heating plant? <laughs> yes. Oh, the heating plant is over here. We, we placed that a long time ago. We already knew where that is. So probably our um, extension battery is going to be here for heat. And that's good. So now we just need to um, figure out where we're going to place the things. I think, well, I would like to get this circle done before we do too much of the of this part of the planning, but that's fine. Uh, definitely a heat exchanger here. It should be able to read. Well, actually, should we double this up? 
if we do that, we need a third heating plant if we do two doubles. Because the range is pretty ridiculous. Let's see what our um, residential buildings are. Yeah, the range is here. We can totally reach everything that is inside that circle, which is awesome. Um, but we're definitely going to overload that because I have a feeling we will have some taller buildings in uh, in this area. So one heating plant is no longer going to be sufficient. And that's where we're going to get coal from. Okay. Um, that just means this construction office has to go. That's fine. That's that's not that's not a loss at all. Uh, yeah, both of these make it go away. That's fine. And let's build another heating plant right next to this. Where are you going to get your workers in? Um, probably squeeze a bus stop right here. Yeah, that's a great place to do that. I hope I can. Um, do, 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 do. You go here. Get off there. Good. Um, and then give me a nice small bus stop like this. Can I squeeze you? If you take the fuel station out, you can. You're right. You're right. That should be enough. Um, there may actually be one here, the smaller ones, that may fit in here uh, voluntarily. No, it's a little longer than the other ones. So yeah, if we take the fuel station out, this will totally work. And that is nice. We do have power here now, so that should be able to get added to to the fun as well. We just need another heating plant um, that is lined up exactly like this. Uh, that gets a conveyor belt connection for free. I'll make sure that we have that. There you go. Yeah, these are just back to back and that is fine. Nice pollution. Perfect. Two heating plants should be plenty to run the city because I just want to put two heat exchangers uh, back to back or next to each other. So our um, <clears throat> our logistics are a little simpler. Let's put those literally next to each other. Really? Yeah. Two there, two here should do everything that we need these guys to do. Let's put them not too close, but not too far away. Uh, really? There you go. I like that, and then they will just get the same um, heat connections. And these are the big ones, the ones that we actually care about. Should we do the heating pipes already? No, I don't think we need that. That's fine. Oh, we haven't done the thing that I said that I would do after these guys have arrived. All right, I would like you to get everything that you can from there. That looks good. And start delivering everything that I want to this guy and to this guy. Make sure that you're unloading. Yes, you are unloading. Cement here, bitumen here. Thank you, thank you, 80%, 80%. No, you don't need to be that full. This one is the bitumen, it doesn't have to be full, but you probably have to be pretty much full. So we're just gonna run them forever. Good, great, won't be nice if you can actually drive through this, but you can't, so uh, too bad. All right, this is all moving, this is all doing the thing that it needs to do. How's our time going? Well, we're, we're almost at the end of the episode again because that's how things go. What am I missing? So let's see here. We have all the state infrastructure. I don't have a university. This one will definitely be a medical university situation. I would like this to be generally reachable. So my plan with, ooh, this could be a really good place for you. I don't hate it. Um, not everyone's gonna be able to reach you. That's a little unfortunate, but um, we may need two universities anyways, because a lot of our industries that we have here require highly educated people. So I wouldn't be surprised if we have a university on this side and something else over here in this blob. And that just um, pretty it up a little bit. We don't have a big HQ yet. Maybe that's, that's an option because um, we just don't have one yet. Well, we'll just see how this goes. Let's plop them in here to plan. I'm not even going to connect this one. I know I connected the medical university, but... We'll just see how this goes. Wow, how much do you, how much terraformers are needed? Shouldn't be that bad. All right, <clears throat> so that one can go there and um, should be fine. We do need water. We do need, we still need water for this one, right? Yeah, we do. <clears throat> water, water, water. We should just be able to use the inlet. No, we're, we're gonna have a lot of pollution come in from these guys. So we can't just use the first inlet connection that we can get to. And it may actually be better to run a small well um, as close as we can get here. And this looks like, th honestly, this this should be fine with, with the connections that we have. So you can get us some water for these areas. Let's give you a small water tower. Um, you still need, even with that, you need a small pump. As long as we have those two connected, though, we should be okay. There's a small pump. 
Yep, right. Flip you around. Have the footpath on that side so we can actually build it. Get you there. Give me the medium size uh, pipe because that's all the pump really uh, can handle. So that should be good. And then give me a water switch somewhere in this general area. And then we're just going to start supplying to the <clears throat> concrete plant and we'll figure out what else we need to do later. But you go here and then you go straight into there. Let's just do the middle path. That's good. Um, F3 for underground view. Over here, get a dirt path. That's a perfect direction that you have there. That's fine. Um, and we could start building this. I don't know that we have to yet. But they're all connected. They all have power. So that's a good start. Not sure why you're not done yet, but I'm sure there are reasons. Uh, construction office. This one. Uh, what are you working on? You're working on a couple things and some replacements. Got it. Uh, should I put a fuel station in here somewhere? Yes, yes, I should. And I also need to plan more construction offices. Where are you going to put those? Makes sense here and there. <clears throat> what does that mean? I don't know. It's fine. What do I want? I want um, open haul trucks that will access these these three um, access stations, really. Um, how many do you need? I think if you do a 12 because we don't really have that many trucks running around. If you have a 12, let's just point it like this. If you do a 12 here, uh, that has access to all the trucks, that should be fine. So we're gonna do 10 and two, probably. That should be more than enough. And then do one for mechanisms over here, but the mechanisms I would like to be able to transport via open hall. So we're gonna make that a bigger one. Uh, plop you right there. That's a good start. And is that enough? We need cement trucks. Cement trucks and, well, the gravel and the asphalt comes from there. We just need one for cement. Six is probably not enough. Four is definitely not enough. So just do one for cement right here. Um, since it has a funny connection to um, the um, cement plant, I think if we plop you down right here, this should be good. Yeah, you can figure everything out. And then these guys will just be cement. Let's just name these. Uh, cement, no. Concrete. Cement mixer. Concrete. Close. Concrete. Um, this is... This is gravel, asphalt, and dozer. Very good. Then this one is going to be trucks. Is that going to be enough? Yeah, maybe. Um, this one is covered, open, halts. And a reason why I'm going a little small here, should I just do the 16? Is the 16 one a better option? It may be. How much bigger are you? You could probably fit here. Yes, we're gonna do the 16 instead. Um, perfect. <laughs> just willed itself in there. You will be open, covered, halts. That's all it's gonna be here. And they're connected straight to this road. That's good. This one can be connected straight to this one. And this one will just be all mechanism and transport. Mech and transport. And that should give us enough to get started on all the things, I think. Cool. Let's activate these constructions so they can um, think about actually doing something here. That looks good. Um, looks like we have some gravel construction that can happen here. I think it's almost time that I turn this active construction on. So I don't have to continue doing this, but... For now, it's fine. <clears throat> For now, it's very fine. We do have some support right here. Uh, well, once that one is connected, we will have support. But we have some support vehicles right here that can also do some automatic construction. If I let you, auto search, sure. Go any way you want. And then um, we should have extra access for all those things. That looks good. Yeah, this fuel station has to go so I can get the bus stop in here. So all of these guys can get their workers. That shouldn't be a huge problem. And there's a bunch of space here, so may as well just put a new fuel station right in there. Most of our um, trucks should be refueled in the distribution, oh sorry, in the construction offices, so there's that. There's part of me that thinks I should probably put a fuel bowser somewhere here that we can receive fuel. Haven't done that yet, but probably should. Why are you not getting any bitumen yet? That's a little silly. Um, where's my guy? Where is, where's this? You. 
what are you doing? Why are you not doing the thing I told you to do? You're supposed to get cement. You're supposed to get fuel. Oh, bitumen. Um, road cargo station. City center. Oh. Oh, I see. This one is not currently going to the custom cells, but I would like it to. So pause it just briefly, then tell the custom cells what I actually want you to do. I just want you to load the two things that I just added, which is bitumen and cement. Now you can go. I'm expecting, yeah, those two trucks to actually start moving so they can do the thing that they need to do. That's lovely. Rare construction. What is your issue? Okay, you have two things, but I think you are automatically assigning the next construction to yourself. You didn't do it here. Okay, maybe that one is not up to date yet. <laughs> um, those look fine. Those look fine. Those look fine. They're actually going out here, doing what they're supposed to do there. That is excellent. Sewage is not done for the city yet, but it's a... Uh, well, we gotta, we gotta move on somewhere, right? Uh, what do I need here? I wanted this one to be done. Can someone get this one done so I can get rid of all those ugly icons? That'd be wonderful. I'm so annoyed that it's because I don't act, have my active construction set to active. Just a habit, I guess. Um, nothing is happening here because nothing has to happen. Pa uh, not power, incinerator. How are you guys doing? 500, nobody... Nobody is without their own flat yet. That's good. Only a few people have no childs or no children or no childs. That's English. Uh, construction waste sitting there. Some of that waste sitting here. This is pretty empty. That looks like it's working. This is pretty full, but hey, eventually we'll just uh, go away. So that's all fine. Yeah, no, this is good. How's this? Probably full? Yeah, it's full. Very good. So, oh, I want to see how many workers do we actually have sitting here. Uh, machines replacement in progress. Perfect. Can you do that a little faster, please? <laughs> um, nothing's happened yet. Engineering replacement. That's that's a good one. Um, some crimes, some missing fabrics, so nothing is happening here. Could someone uh, make this more important? That'd be, that'd be lovely. Building maintenance, open construction window. Um, you are here. I would like you to be high priority because you're a repair. So I just need you to get done. And there's too many vehicles just parked here. That's not that's not very helpful. But it's okay. Uh, concrete plant. Sure. You both can get replaced and looks like... No, this is just assigned. Love it. Love it. This is all, this is all fine. Everything is kind of moving. So that's good. Uh, container standards. Sure. Why not? What do we have here? 32% off higher education. I think this number actually hurts me a little bit, so let's move that down for now. How's this all going? 2% loyalty, some percent everything else. That is nice. Nobody's too sad about things. That's also good. Where do you think you're going? That's a weird way to take. Whatever. Um, bauxite. We had a lot of leftover earlier, but the train seems to be doing its thing, and I think that's what we're going to use to say bye-bye. Where's my guy? There's my guy. Cool. Yeah, unload your stuff and keep us moving thank you so much for watching there will be more next time we have to do more city planning because it's clearly not done and then it still has to be built in the meantime i have to get the construction office all set up and hopefully rail can get in there so a i can get um all the signals in b i can turn on the rail distribution office c get all the materials in that i need and all the mechanisms and all that other stuff look at the border it's already overflowing cool and yeah, there, there's a lot more to do, obviously, for the next expansion. Um, but you're going to be part of it, because that's what we're doing here. Why is there a big bump? Whatever. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.